Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And you know, I was thinking, it's October now, and it's getting nice and cool out, and we're celebrating all kinds of fall stuff. And I was thinking about Halloween. And I was wondering, what does a dinosaur wear on Halloween? Well, then I found a book, and it's called T-Rex Trick or Treat. T-Rex Trick or Treat. I know this T-Rex guy. We've read books about him before, but I've never seen him at Halloween. I wonder what kind of costume he wears. Does he really go trick or treating? Do people give him candy? Wow, we've got a lot of questions to find out about this guy. We're going to have to get into this book and see what happens when T-Rex goes trick or treating. Are you ready to get into a nice Halloween dinosaur book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up, because here we go. T-Rex, Trick or Treats, written by Lois G. Grambling, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. It was the darkest night of the year. It was the scariest night of the year. It was Halloween. T-Rex is getting ready for Halloween. T-Rex finished carving his jack-o'-lantern. It had long, sharp, pointy teeth, just like his. He stuck a candle in it and put it in the window. Eek! screamed some trick-or-treaters passing by. They were afraid. They think he was afraid of the jack-o'-lantern, but he might have been afraid of the T-Rex. T-Rex was going trick-or-treating later that night with his friends. But he hadn't decided what to wear. He knew, though, that he wanted something to wear, something that would make him look scary. Maybe I can wear a white sheet and be a ghost, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. Oh, but then he remembered his friend Diploctodus was going to wear a white sheet and be a ghost. Well, he didn't want to wear the same thing as his friend. Maybe I can wear something with bones painted on it and be a skeleton, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. Oh, but then he remembered Stegosaurus was going to wear something with bones painted on it. He was going to be a skeleton. He didn't want to wear that because that's what Stegosaurus was going to wear. Maybe I can wear a pointy hat and be a witch, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. Oh, but then he remembered his friend Iguanodon was going to wear a pointy hat and be a witch. He didn't want to wear the same thing as Iguanodon. T-Rex was beginning to worry. What would he wear tonight? Just then his doorbell rang. Trick or treat, shouted a scary ghost that it was his friend Diplodocus. Trick or treat, shouted a scary skeleton that was his friend Stegosaurus. Trick or treat, shouted a scary witch that was his friend, Iguanodon. T-Rex invited them in. All his friends came over saying trick or treat. You aren't dressed yet, said Diplocalus. I haven't decided what to wear, said T-Rex. Decide soon or all the treats will be gone, said Iguanodon. T-Rex didn't want that to happen. Do you have any suggestions, he asked. He's asking his friends what he should wear. He has lots of costumes, but he doesn't know which one to wear. Maybe you could wear a pair of giant wings and be a bat, said Diplocitus. Not scary enough, said T-Rex, frowning. Maybe you could wear some twitchy witchers and be a black cat, said Stegosaurus. Not scary enough, said T-Rex, frowning a big frown. Wow, he wants to be super scary. Maybe you could wear a carved out pumpkin and carry a candle and be a jack-o'-lantern like the one in your window, said Iguanodon. Eek! screamed some passing trick-or-treaters. Not scary enough, said T-Rex, frowning a very big frown. Diplocitus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend. Um, maybe you should go trick-or-treating tonight as yourself, wearing just that very big frown, they said. I don't want to go trick-or-treating tonight as myself, wearing just this very big frown, T-Rex said. 
I want to go trick or treating wearing something that will make me look scary. <laughs> well, I think he looks pretty scary while he's saying that. Diplococcus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend again. Um, wearing that very big frown, you do look scary, they said. T-Rex looked in the mirror. Eek! He screamed too. I do! Eek! He screamed again. I even scare myself! He is scary with those big teeth. And what you're wearing, that very big frown, said Diplococcus. Looking so very scary, said Stegosaurus. What do you think we'll get when we ring doorbells tonight, said Iguanodon. Lots of treats, said T-Rex. He knows it's a good idea just to be a scary dinosaur. Later that dark Halloween night, as soon as their trick-or-treat bags filled up, and they filled up fast, T-Rex stopped frowning and started smiling. Eek! screamed some late trick-or-treaters staring up at Tyrannosaurus Rex's long, sharp, pointy teeth. Eek! They screamed again as they hurried off into the darkness. They're even afraid of him when he's smiling. Diplococcus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend. Hmm, maybe next Halloween, said Diplococcus. Instead of wearing a very big frown, said Stegosaurus. You should wear that very big smile, said Iguanodon. Now that would really be scary, the three friends said. T-Rex said he would think about it. And with a big smile, he said, Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh my, that was a very silly book. First, T-Rex didn't know what he wanted to be for Halloween because everything he thought of, his friends were being that. And then they said, just be a dinosaur. That's the scariest thing you could be. So he walked around with a big dinosaur frown and he didn't scare anybody. But then when he smiled real big and showed off those big dinosaur teeth, then everybody got scared and ran off. But at least he got a whole bunch of trick-or-treat candy. And that's what Halloween's about. Getting in your costume and going out and getting some candy. Like a giant T-Rex. I wonder who will be a T-Rex for Halloween. Is it going to be you? I think that would be a really neat thing to be. You could go out, smile real big, and get lots of candy. But not tonight, because tonight it's time for all my little dinosaurs to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, whatever you do, keep a smile on your face. It makes everybody around you happy. And you know what else makes people happy? When you obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm gonna be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe like and share. I'll see you soon.